coming from regular season champions this this, uh, this season. We want to achieve more than that this year. We want to actually go into the NCAA tournament okay. this year and probably make it as far as we can. And hopefully for the next years, maybe we could make it far. And then after that, probably, you know, if offers come, then that'll be greatly appreciated. Well. Right. Yeah, a World Cup as well in a few years, eh? <laughs> maybe. What about you, mate? You're senior, right, this year? Uh, so I actually, um, this past season, I, I had some, some health issues, so I, I ended up medical redshirting. Okay. So I have two more years nice. to go. So, um, you know, I'm... You know, just like Jack said, we're trying to make it to the NCAA tournament. We're trying to, uh, you know, have as long as a season as possible, and you know, it's win a win a, win a championship, hopefully in a conference, and uh, it's pretty much. Heaven, but it's not this. Yeah, um, I mean, it's you know that's always like the toughest part, you know, but uh, but we're gonna, you know, we train Monday through Friday. We have five games lined up this season, so the spring season. So, you know, we're gonna, we're just gonna work hard every single day. You know, we got a, we got a lot going on in the, in the weight room. We got a, a lot of good resources here for us. So, you know, we're just gonna take advantage of every single one of them. You know? Yeah. So besides, you know, going to the weight room and stuff, just stay, stay dedicating. You know, eating the right food. Yeah. Make sure you're still getting the sleep right. So, yeah. Nice. Um, well, I guess I would probably say uh, my dad, because at a young age, um, I was kind of, you know, into other sports. I played a lot of sports as a kid, and I wasn't really sure about what I wanted to do. So, but, um, you know, he pushed me hard every day, no matter what sport it was. And, uh, you know, I just fell in love with soccer and, you know, yeah, nice. And then, who's who's yours? Who's affected your career the most? For my parents, definitely. Yeah. But you know, I got, I'm always grateful for them. But on the pitch, Messi. You know, he's okay. such a small player, so creative, so fast. So I look up to him. Top Jaguar, look for heaven, but it's not. I mean, I guess it's really hard to you know kind of point out one. Yeah. You know, there's there's been quite a few that that you could say are are. Um, so great but I would probably say my most influential achievement was the opportunity that I had to go play last summer in Ann Arbor just because you know like it was it was early for me I was only finishing up my sophomore season you know I didn't know a lot about that kind of stuff and you know really to just get into that club and kind of you know and you know get in a semi-pro uh, you know atmosphere with a bunch of good players good coaches good training it was just you know it was just a huge experience for me nice. so i would say that, that was probably nice. Are you planning to go back there as well um yeah i yeah. am you know so I, i'm you know trying to work a few things out you know the extra summer that i have is, is helping me out so I, but most likely i'm going to be returning. perfect and then jack what's yours probably football related probably being invited to youth national camp okay probably being considered uh one of the top players in the country is definitely a, a great feeling and it always pushes me to be better. Uh, I'm liking the St. Louis Rams for the Super Bowl this weekend. Okay, Jackie. The Patriots of Tom Brady and his legacy. I think yeah. it's going to take you. going to do it. Or if you ever lost, you take a shot. I'm a New York Jets fan. Okay. And uh, sick and tired of Tom Brady and the Patriots. <laughs> and uh, I just hope that they lose. Love it. Or if you ever lost, you take a shot.